body is made of Brisbex material and aluminium profile. Brisbex is used to cover the body as a frame and carry the inner component as it is light, strong, and durable. We selected suitable color to reflect the light and to protect the inner component from the sunlight. Aluminium profile resists the shocks and can be easily formed. We used the four wheels with a suitable coefficient of friction to make our robot move on several soils such as sand, rock, and grass. Our delivery system is called direct transmission, one motor for each wheel. Depending on our accurate calculations, we choose four DC motors with 20 kg centimeter torque and 133 RPM speed. About the rotation, we use the skid steering system. To turn right, the right wheels will move backward and the left wheels will move forward and vice versa. For cooling our electric system, we apply the force of cooling by air using six fans. Three of them pull the air in and the other fans pull, pull it out. We use two encoders, each of them fixed in a free wheel for more accurate localization. The microcontroller in Node MCU is used to control the directions and the speed of the robot through GBIO and BWM bins. On the other hand, Arduino Ono is connected to sensor so as to send or receive data to GUI application. For wireless communication, we use Node MCU DEV Kit 1.0. UDP is our protocol to connect the robot with the GUI application on the laptop. To localize the location of our robot, we need two main components. An encoder to calculate the distance the robot covers, and the compass to determine the location of the robot and its orientation. We build the GUI application using the Python and the QT library to control the movement of the robot and to map the mine field and determine which mine, uh, which mine is surface mine or a buried mine. For detection, there are three series. We applied by subduction method. It based on the pulse generated from the coil and receives a change of the frequency applied on it.